Hey guys, so we're at my newest purchased property that is another stream quarter property. We're gonna call this the Lake House. This is going to be a massive rehab. I'm gonna do a little bit of changing of the floor plan as well. So this used to be one giant bedroom. Uh, so we were able to split it up and make good sized bedrooms out of both. So the really cool thing about this project is I was able to open this up you can actually see where the old wall used to be on the floor here. So this house is supposed to be done in a few short days. Uh, this was a huge transformation, great profit, great turnaround, and I'm happy to get this house on the market for the next family. Hey guys, today is the big reveal of the lake house. We're finally done with this house and it is officially on the market. Hey guys, I'm here at the Lake House in Valrico, Florida with an update on our renovation. I'm standing in the brand new Lanai area. Uh, this was an area that was really, really damaged. It was caving in in the ceiling and the cats had just destroyed the concrete slab. So we had to clean it multiple times um, with degreasers and uh, odorizers and then we painted it and it looks great now with the brand new kind of white um, lanai overlooking our new fence with the lake in front so this is going to be a really peaceful area here for uh, for the next owners we put in brand new sliding glass doors new exterior doors here windows so this house was a full full gut renovation let me show you the inside so this house is supposed to be done in a few short days. I'm standing in a brand new kitchen here. You can see we've got a gray island with white cabinets in the back. Appliances are installed. We're just waiting on our quartz countertops. Um, this is a gigantic kitchen with an open uh, living room concept. I love these floors. These are absolutely great floors that I chose for this house. It's got a coastal feel to it. So you can see the paint color and the floors kind of go together. They have a coastal feel. I've got these um, lights, pendant lights here for the island area. That's going to look great because it's such a big open space. That's why these are so large. So I'm standing in our brand new bathroom here um, and I really, really like how the tile on the floor came out with the new tile on the wall. Uh, we went with a tub in here instead of a stand-up shower in case there's kind of kids that want to use this. Waiting for the vanity to be installed, uh, new lighting. Obviously this door goes out to the lanai, which goes out to the backyard. Um, toilet over here, but I really kind of like how everything gets tied in. Uh, we're just waiting on kind of some grouting and end pieces here. But uh, again, we've got about five days left until we're done, so we're going to push it. So this used to be a three bedroom, two bath, and I turned it into a four bedroom, two bath because this room that I'm standing in was gigantic. So I felt that it, it was better off doing that. And it's still a good size room uh, to, to, to have a bedroom, whether it be for you know, an adult or a child. And then the other side of this wall was the one room that had the closet already, so we didn't need to add anything in there. Added a new ceiling fan here, and then we have almost a designated office in this other room. So this room could be used as a bedroom or an office. Um, it's right off the kitchen here, well, on the other side of this wall. Uh, it, it came out again really well. This room was already here, but we obviously had to replace everything. It comes with a closet so we can call it an actual bedroom. So when I originally looked at this house, it was ported so badly, I couldn't make it past the door in this master bedroom. I had no idea what the bathroom area looked like. Uh, all I knew that it was in bad shape. Uh, so I am super proud of what we've done to this room specifically. So if you can see here, we framed out an area and I'm going to put a sliding barn door to add some privacy to the bathroom section. But this shower is really exceptional. So I wanted to make the shower a decent size. It originally was just a tiny little box and it felt really claustrophobic to me. 
So when we moved the wall, I was able to put the handle over here and then the shower head on that side. So you really have plenty of room here. And then we did a built-in kind of for your shampoos and conditioners and stuff. So I really like this area and the ability to close it off with that barn door keeps it separate from the master bedroom. So we're outside here in the backyard and we, I decided to go with a vinyl type fence, but a lower see-through fence here. So you have direct access to the lake, uh, which is of course the highlight. There's not many houses in this neighborhood that are lakefront like this. So uh, this was something that we really wanted to highlight. So this garage is a huge transformation. It was not only hoarded, but it was full of animal feces and rats and everything was torn up. But the concrete slab in here was completely soiled and discolored. So what we had to do is not only clean it, but we had to put this awesome epoxy floor in there along with the new garage and then paint the walls several times with some odor encapsulant after cleaning it just to get rid of this terrible odor. So I hope you guys really liked how the lake house turned out. Uh, this was a huge transformation and this will be listed in a few short days. And I'm happy to get this house on the market for the next family. Hey guys, today is the big reveal of the lake house. We're finally done with this house and it is officially on the market. As you can see behind me, we got a brand new paint job, brand new garage door and great landscaping for uh, just to accentuate this lake house. There's not many houses on this particular lake, so we had to really kind of do it up. So come take a look. So there was a giant wall kind of where I'm standing here that really kind of closed off everything. And I just hated that. So opening this up made this room absolutely huge. Um, we turned the kitchen around a little bit. We uh, continued the beautiful quartz here as well in the kitchen and the bathrooms. Again, in this property, another thing that I really like is the masters on one side and all the other bedrooms are on the other. So this was originally a three bedroom, two bathroom. It is now a four bedroom, two bathroom, and I'll show you where. Okay, so this wall was not here originally. So this was one giant awkward bedroom that wasn't even being utilized. So because it was so big, we divided it up and they both kind of have a walk-in closet. And then you still have the, another bedroom over here. So six dumpsters later, I was able to make it in here and it was an absolute disaster. So I had to make some design changes to make sure that it flowed well for a future family. One of the cool things I did was add this barn door here and it's got the privacy glass on it already, which is awesome. I got this from auction and it was originally kind of a wood color. So we had it painted white so that it would kind of go with everything else. I continued the really cool tile in here and the quartz countertops with a double vanity. So originally there was a single vanity here and the shower was so tiny, I didn't really feel that it was usable. I had to move this wall back to create a larger shower, but still have plenty of room here for a walk-in closet. This garage was an absolute disaster from the first day that I saw this place. And it was filled with just trash and rats and you name it. So we ended up having to fix the garage door, clean, pressure wash this floor, and then we epoxied it again. Of course, I added new AC, new connections for the washer dryer. This house has completely new plumbing, new electric, new AC, new roof, new everything. So this is a very large garage. A normal two-car garage would probably just stop right here at this step but it's actually deeper because we have plenty of room here for laundry, which is awesome. And then another door out here to head to the backyard to see the beautiful lake. As you can imagine, the backyard needed a ton of work. So we had a lot of removal of the old chain link fence. We had to sod this. And the most awesome thing about this backyard is my favorite tree in the world is a magnolia. And there's three of them here. 
So I wanted to leave those and make sure that we were, you know, putting them in the, in the, in the best place because they provide a ton of shade and absolutely beautiful flowers. So we even added a gate here if somebody wanted to uh, put in a dock for the lake back here, they certainly can. And the yard is absolutely huge. You can put a swimming pool here, which most Florida homes have. So I hope you enjoyed the rehab today. I really enjoyed designing this house and uh, hopefully it will go to a new family very quickly. Thanks.